Graham is 16, EF is 5, find the leaks of all of the sides. Now if one is 5, another is 5. I don't really need to draw this because it's pretty simple to follow through with. That means 16 minus 10. I got 10 because there are two sides that are 5. I'm left over with 6. There's two sides that have, have to add up to be 6 and they have to be congruent. That means that each is equal to 3. It says find the lengths of the other sides. Well, it's 5, 3, and 3. JKLM, the ratio of the measure of J to the measure of M is 5 to 4. So I'm going to draw a parallelogram to reason this out with you. Notice the uh, J is bigger than the, than the M. So I'm just going to call this obtuse and this one here. It doesn't really matter. And okay, we got, uh, actually I should probably put the J and M on the outside. That means that if this is 5 times some part value x and this is 4 times it, the sum of these together has to equal 180. Well, 180 divided by 9 is 20. It says find the measure, measure of each one. Well, if x is 20, then just plug it in. That means we have 100 for measure of angle j. And we have measure of angle m is equal to 4 times 20, which is 80. Find what value of x makes this a parallelogram. It's just using the fact that this is these two are congruent. So x plus 9 is equal to 2x plus 4. Solving for x, 9 minus 4 is 5. Same deal over here. It's not quite clear, but this segment this goes with this segment and this one goes with this one. That means that 3x plus 2 is equal to 5x minus 4. This gives us 2x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 3. Classify the special quadrilateral. If this is 90 degrees and these segments are opposite segments are parallel, this is a rhombus. Rhombus has bisected angles. All right, let's let's see if we can work this one out. Now, if this is 90 and this is 90 and this is 21, then I can find this angle by subtracting uh, these two from 180. So 180 minus 90 is 90. And I've got 21 left over, so I'm going to subtract 21. 90 minus 21 is 70 minus 1, which is 69. So this is 69. This is 69 because they're bisected angles. That means that x is equal to 69. Now if this is 21, this angle is congruent to it, so y is equal to 21. If these are all perpendicular, then opposite sides are congruent. It, first of all, it's a rectangle, and that means opposite sides are congruent. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 4x minus 5. Just solving for x. Other sides, 4y is equal to 6y minus 10. Go ahead and solve for y. And y is equal to 5. Diagonals of a rhombus are 10 and 24, so I'm just going to draw a quick free-handed rhombus. Whoa. Pretty close. The longer side is 12. Remember, rhombuses have bisected diagonals. So if the total is 24, this must be 12. And if this one is 10, this must be 5. And the ang the uh, diagonals also bisect, or excuse me, meet at perpendicular angles. So if this is 5 and this is 12, this must be 13. Find the length of a side. Well, it's a rhombus. All the sides are the same. 23 and 24, use the diagram of a recycling container. One end of the container is an isosceles trapezoid. That means that these two sides are congruent. And FG is parallel to JH. Measure of angle F is 79. This is 79 degrees. Now, if it's an isosceles trapezoid, the base angles are congruent. All right, find the measure of G, H, and J. Well, G is 79. Now, let's find the other two. Now, if these two are parallel, these two lines, and these two angles are supplementary, that means that 180 minus 79 is equal to the measure of angle at, at H, which is 101. So, H is 101, and this angle is congruent to this one, so J is also 101. Copy, copy trapezoid FGHJ and sketch its mid-segment. I'm just going to save the hassle of drawing it. Well, whatever. I'll just draw it.
Not that neat, but oh well. F, G, H, J, and the mid-segment goes in the middle. If the mid-segment is 16.5 and F, G is 19, we got to find J, H. Let's call it X for a second. Now, 16.5 has to equal the average of the other segments, which is 19 plus X. To solve this algebraically, let's first multiply by 2. 16.5 times 2 is 16 times 2, which is 32 plus 1, because 0.5 times 2 is 1. 32 plus 1 is 33, but you could have figured that out with your calculator. X uh, is equal to, or excuse me, X plus 19 is equal to 33, so let's subtract 19 from both sides. And that is, uh, let's pull out the calculator, 33 minus 19. I don't want to make another mistake in a video. X is equal to 14. Give the most specific name with the given information. Explain your reasoning. Notice these four segments are congruent. It does not tell us these are 90. So the only thing we know for sure is that this is at, le at most a rhombus. If this is 32 and this is 148, let's add them together to confirm that this is supplementary. Notice this is 17 and this is 10. 170 plus 10 is 180. If these are supplementary, then this is parallel to this. But it doesn't tell us anything about this. It looks like a parallelogram, but we don't know anything about those two angles. It could be all kinds of different values. So we don't know if it's a parallelogram. All that we know is that it's a trapezoid because a trapezoid has one pair of parallel lines. Here, opposite sides are congruent, but it doesn't tell you these are 90, so all we know is that this is a parallelogram. Whoa. In quadrilateral R, S, T, U, R, R, T, and U are right angles, and R, S is equal to S, T. What is the most specific name? Well, if R, S is right next to S, T, and they're congruent, and all of these angles are 90, then this must be a square. Because adjacent angles are congruent, and they're all 90. That's it. Four quadrilaterals. Parallelogram. Rhombus. Rectangle. Square. Trapezoid. Isosceles trapezoid. Kite. Four. 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 Quadrilaterals. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. Rhombus. Rectangle. Square. Square. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. I'm <laughs> sorry.